step into the world of a classic TV series that graced screens back in the late 70s, bringing to life the daily adventures of two California Highway Patrol officers. No need for fancy words or dramatic flair. This show keeps it real. One officer, played by Eric Estrada, and the other, portrayed by Larry Wilcox, patrolled the highways on their motorcycles, enforcing the law and dealing with the unexpected. The series strikes a balance between action and humor, making it a favorite for many. Now, here's the hook stay tuned for some surprising, funny, and even heartwarming facts about the TV show that you probably didn't know. So, if you're into some jaw-dropping revelations, don't touch that remote just yet. But before we delve into the details, let me ask you this out of all the characters in this series, who's your favorite? Feel free to drop it in the comments below. We're all ears and eager to hear your thoughts. This show wasn't just entertainment. For some, it became a source of inspiration. Have you ever experienced a moment where this series influenced your life? Share your stories with us in the comments. We'd love to hear about your most special memories related to the TV show. And now, back to those surprising facts. Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. You won't want to miss a beat. So, grab your snacks, settle in, and keep those eyes glued to the screen. More surprises await. Your favorite memories could be just around the corner. In the realm of classic television, there exists a series that has left a significant impact on its audience, garnering both praise and criticism. Viewers' opinions vary widely when it comes to the adventures of California Highway Patrol Officers John and Punch, portrayed by Larry Wilcox and Eric Estrada, respectively. For those enchanted by the world portrayed in the TV series, the formulaic yet entertaining episodes left a lasting impression. The duo, navigating the streets on motorcycles, apprehended criminals, and delivered justice in a predictable but engaging manner. What truly stood out was the authentic filming locations that transported viewers back in time, providing a nostalgic journey through familiar streets and settings. However, not everyone found the show appealing. Some critics dismissed it as lacking in substance, dubbing it as chumps. They pointed out the exaggerated performances of the lead actors, finding fault in what they perceived as an unrealistic portrayal of law enforcement. The show's tone, deemed preposterous by some, led to it being categorized more as a live-action comic book than a serious drama. Critics also questioned the accuracy of the show's depiction of the responsibilities of California Highway Patrol officers, suggesting that the characters engaged in police work more suitable for a different genre. The perceived inconsistencies and exaggerated performances were significant criticisms leveled against the show. In conclusion, opinions on the TV series vary greatly, with some enjoying its entertainment value while others find fault in its perceived shortcomings. Whether fans cherish the nostalgia it evokes or critics dismiss it as a farcical representation of law enforcement, the show continues to evoke strong reactions from viewers. Throughout its run, the show saw notable cast changes. Michael Dorn, who spent three seasons on the series alongside Robert Pine, gained fame as Lieutenant Worf in Star Trek The Next Generation. Robert Pine's son Chris followed a similar path, portraying Captain James T. Kirk in various Star Trek productions. In the final season, alongside Larry Wilcox's departure, characters played by Michael Dorn, Brody Greer, and Randy Oakes were written off without explanation. The shakeup marked a significant transition for the show's ensemble. Gwen Guilford, who portrayed Sergeant Gitrar's wife, Betty, had a recurring role on the series. Interestingly, she was married to Robert Pine, adding a personal connection to their on-screen dynamic. Amidst declining ratings in its sixth season, NBC faced a pivotal decision regarding the future of the TV series. With Eric Estrada contemplating departure for other projects, the network considered replacing him with Bruce Jenner for a potential seventh season. However, given the show's waning popularity, NBC opted to cancel it after the sixth season. During the series, John's radio call handle, Seven Mary Three, left an unexpected imprint beyond the screen. It served as the inspiration for a rock band that adopted the same name, showcasing the influence of chips beyond television. A subtle anomaly unfolded in the second season, where ambulances were regularly featured responding to accidents. Notably, these scenes depicted Los Angeles County firefighters staffing the ambulances, even though the county fire department has never operated its own ambulance service. In the world of chips, these behind-the-scenes dynamics, casting decisions, and unintended inspirations offer a glimpse into the show's intricacies, contributing to its unique legacy. In the TV series Chips, John Baker's badge number, 18712, is prominently displayed in the opening credits, even during the sixth season when he was no longer on the show. The character John Baker was named after the nephew of the show's creator, Rick Rosner. 
The boy had a minor role in the first episode, where he was stopped by Ponch and John for riding his bicycle on the highway. Robert Pine portrayed John and Ponch's stalwart sergeant, Joseph Kittrar. Interestingly, Robert Pine is the father of Chris Pine, known for his role as James T. Kirk in the rebooted Star Trek franchise. These connections add layers of interest to the show's legacy. Behind the scenes of the California Highway Patrol show, there was drama both on and off screen. It's said that Eric Estrada's desire for attention played a role in Larry Wilcox leaving the series. They thought having Estrada in the spotlight was crucial for the show's success and reruns. So, John Baker's character left the show, supposedly going back to Wyoming. The patrol cars in the series were real California Highway Patrol vehicles bought at auctions. They were a few years old, ranging from 1973 Dodge Polaras to 1978 Dodge Monaco's. This gave the show a realistic touch, even if the cars were a bit outdated. During the six seasons, only three actors stayed the same, Eric Estrada, Robert Pine, and Paul Link. Their constant presence helped keep things stable, even as the storylines and characters changed. In one of the earliest episodes of a popular TV series, a rising Hollywood star, Michelle Pfeiffer, had a small role. The lead actor, Eric Estrada, who played a cop, went through training at a real police academy to better understand his character. Unfortunately, he got into a serious motorcycle accident while filming. This meant he had to shoot scenes from his hospital bed until he recovered. It was a big challenge for the production team, but they didn't give up. They kept going with determination. The show's continued success shows how hard everyone worked to make it happen. After Larry Wilcox left the show, John's departure was explained as him wanting to go back to his home state of Wyoming. He missed the wide open spaces and rugged beauty of where he grew up. Meanwhile, Lou Wagner showed his acting skills in airport, proving he could do more than just chips. Eric Estrada also showcased his talent by starring in Airport 1975. Danny Bonajuice took on a role as a car stripper in the show, bringing his unique charm to the screen. These actors continued to entertain audiences long after leaving chips. The story of the show lives on through their diverse performances. In the latter part of its run, a cast member, Tom Riley, encountered legal trouble, resulting in his role diminishing while Bruce Penhall's character gained prominence. The California Highway Patrol even threatened to withdraw support due to the negative publicity. The idea for the show originated from Rick Rosner's experiences as a reserve deputy sheriff observing motorcycle officers during their breaks. During season five, there was a temporary departure of a key cast member, Eric Estrada, due to contract disputes. Bruce Jenner briefly filled in, portraying Steve McClesh, while Estrada's name continued to feature in the opening credits. In the TV series, there was always one female officer and one African-American officer among the supporting characters. In the pilot episode, a peculiar incident occurred when Ponch attempted to stop an elderly lady driving erratically on the highway. However, she refused to comply and drove off the embankment, later claiming Ponch instructed her to do so. It was revealed that she was the wife of a police official in Sacramento. Consequently, Ponch was put back on probation and paired with John again. Eric Estrada, a key figure in the series, had a long-standing feud with comedian George Lopez. The dispute originated when Estrada declined to sign an autograph or shake Lopez's hand while filming near Lopez's neighborhood. Lopez harbored resentment ever since and vowed to retaliate. In a radio interview in 2011, Estrada denied recalling the incident but expressed frustration over Lopez tarnishing his reputation. He even challenged Lopez to a fight at a church event to which Lopez retreated, citing his comedian status. The feud persisted with Lopez threatening Estrada in a 2015 interview with the Huffington Post. Real California Highway Patrol officers were sometimes on the scene due to filming locations, which sometimes confused crew members as to who were actors and who were real officers there for security and traffic control reasons. Sergeant Joe Gitrar was named after a college friend of series creator and producer Rick Rossner. Ponch was among the first leading characters on a dramatic series who was Latino. He's often cited as among the first positive or non-stereotypical portrayal of a Latino American on a regular primetime drama series. Despite its mission to promote a positive image of the California Highway Patrol and emphasize highway safety, the characters in the series do not always follow proper safety protocols. For instance, John and Ponch never properly fasten their motorcycle helmets, merely velcroing the straps together. However, it's worth noting that during the show's filming, California did not have helmet or seatbelt laws, a trend mirrored in many other states until the mid-80s. John stands out as one of the first television characters to be openly identified as a Vietnam veteran. 
The series notably portrays Vietnam veterans in a positive light, with Larry Wilcox, who portrayed John, having served as a U.S. Marine during the Tet Offensive. In October 1981, two real-life California Highway Patrolmen were injured in the line of duty. The show's cast showed solidarity by donating blood for the injured officers, with one ultimately surviving. In TV shows, characters like John and Ponch were given specific codes LF-15, 7 Mary 3, and 7 Mary 4. They used Kawasaki KZ-1000 motorcycles, which were common in police departments across the U.S. and Canada. One actor from Chips, Lou Wagner, also appeared in an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. This connection between two popular series adds an interesting twist to their stories. It's intriguing how actors from different shows can be linked, making the experience more enjoyable for viewers. When actors cross over into different roles, it shows how talented they are. Fans love to discuss and come up with theories about how these fictional worlds might be connected. The fact that these shows still captivate audiences shows how timeless they are. The stories they tell stick with people long after they've finished airing. This blending of narratives adds depth to the history of television, leaving a lasting impression on viewers everywhere. And so, the adventures of John and Ponch, along with characters from Star Trek, continue to inspire and entertain us all. Filming of the freeway chases and crash scenes primarily took place on nearly finished stretches of Southern California freeways in the northern areas of Greater Los Angeles. Initially, for the pilot, the Ronald Reagan freeway between Interstate 405 and the Balboa exit was utilized. Subsequently, in the first and second seasons, production shifted to the Glendale Freeway and Interstate 210 intersection in La Cañada Flintridge, California, and the section of Interstate 210 between the Lacuna Canyon and Sunland Boulevard exits in La Crescenta, California. In the following seasons, a section of Interstate 210 near the interchange with the Ronald Reagan Freeway in Silmer, California, spanning about two miles, was extensively used. These freeway segments were under construction for several years, providing producers with ample nearly finished freeway for filming. However, the opening of the 210 and 118 freeways in the early 1980s necessitated a shift, leading to the final season's freeway scenes being shot in Long Beach, California and near the Imperial Highway next to Los Angeles International Airport. The term chippy, slang for California Highway Patrol Officer, had been in use since the 1950s but gained popularity through the show. The producers coined the term Chip after encountering resistance from the network against the original name Chippies. Eric Estrada, a prominent figure in the series, departed in the fall of 1981 due to a contract salary dispute with NBC. He was briefly replaced by 1976 Olympic decathlon gold medalist Caitlyn Jenner. In one episode of a certain TV series, Randy Oakes played a role as a thief who steals cars. Surprisingly, in the next season, she became a regular character named Bonnie Clark. This switch from a guest appearance to a main role brought new depth to the show, giving a different perspective to the team. Eric Estrada became well known for playing Officer Francis Ponch Poncherello in the series. His lively presence and commitment to his character made him very popular with viewers, turning him into a beloved part of the show. With his charm and skill in handling tough situations, he quickly became a fan favorite. It's interesting to note that Robert Pine and Robert Englund had roles in an episode called Mysterious 2. Their guest appearances added excitement and suspense to the story, captivating viewers with their performances. Pine and England's parts helped to enhance the diverse group of actors in the show, showing off their talent and flexibility. Every episode of the series offered a mix of action, drama, and humor, keeping the audience entertained throughout its time on air. Fans still look back fondly on the show for its memorable characters, thrilling motorcycle chases, and exciting adventures on California's highways. Throughout the series, John and Ponch, the central characters, never drew their weapons. However, there was an instance where Barrixa, another character, drew his weapon after getting into a scuffle with car strippers. The brown van seen during the introduction belonged to the Children's Baptist Home in Angelwood, California. Additionally, the Kawasaki motorcycles and Plymouth Fury cars featured in the show were authentic vehicles used by the California Highway Patrol. These elements added authenticity to the portrayal of law enforcement on the show. Bruce Penhall, a motorcycle world speedway champion, joined the cast in the final season. His character, Bruce Nelson, mirrored his real-life achievements, transitioning from a world champion to a motorcycle officer with the California Highway Patrol. Footage of Penhall competing in the 1982 World Speedway Championship was incorporated into an episode showcasing his character's involvement in the event. 
Contrary to real-life protocol, officers in the California Highway Patrol do not ride motorcycles in pairs. Initially, this was explained in the show's first two seasons by Ponch being on probation and John serving as his mentor. However, audience familiarity led to the duo continuing to work together throughout the series without further explanation. Danny Bonajuice, known for his role as a martial artist, made appearances in eight episodes of the series, showcasing his skills within the Chips universe. In the TV series, actors wore a rectangular pouch on the Sam Brown belt, which housed the battery for wireless microphones. Larry Wilcox and Eric Estrada, who starred in the series, reportedly had a strained relationship, leading to Wilcox's departure. Tom Riley replaced Wilcox as Pontrello's partner, but Estrada was reportedly unhappy with him as well. The original CHP Traffic Patrol helicopter from the first season was later involved in a crash during a Hurricane Katrina relief mission with all passengers surviving. The helicopter was never recovered. Baker's partner underwent a change when Eric Estrada joined the cast. Originally written as an Italian-American named Poncherelli, the character's name was adjusted to Poncherello. This alteration reflected Estrada's casting in the role. In 1992, Eric Estrada took on a different role in a Taco Bell commercial. Playing a patrolman, he stops a girl in jeans enjoying Taco Bell's latest offering, questioning her about having a license for the dangerously tasty taco. The sixth season introduced brothers Bobby and Bruce Nelson, portrayed by Tom Riley and Bruce Penhall, respectively. Despite the on-screen portrayal of Bobby as the older brother, in reality, Bruce Penhall is older than Tom Riley by two years and one month. These nuances in character development and casting decisions add layers to the narrative of the series, offering an interesting behind-the-scenes perspective. The fluidity of these adaptations showcases the dynamic nature of the show, with each element contributing to the overall storytelling. In one episode, Ponch and John met a paramedic from Station 51, the fire department shown in emergency, even though emergency had already finished by then. This unexpected crossover added an exciting twist to the story, making fans nostalgic for the classic series. The appearance of the paramedic was a nod to how different TV shows are connected. Chips, even though it was successful on its own, sometimes included these nods to other popular shows from that time. This created a feeling of continuity and friendship in the TV world. These moments not only made viewers happy, but also showed how different production teams worked together. The meeting highlighted the lasting impact of beloved characters and places going beyond just one show. It's these surprising connections that keep audiences interested and remind us of the special storytelling in TV. This crossover episode really stuck with fans, showing how both Chips and Emergency made a big impact on TV history. In a surprising turn of events, a tragic incident occurred during the production of the series. One of the main actors faced a near-fatal accident while performing a stunt on set. He suffered severe injuries, leading to a halt in the filming process and a significant impact on the show's schedule. Despite the show's lighthearted tone, its behind-the-scenes reality was not without its somber moments. The accident served as a stark reminder of the risks involved in the production of action-packed television series. It's a stark reminder that even in the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, tragedy can strike unexpectedly, leaving a lasting impact on those involved in the production. Amidst the action-packed scenes and camaraderie of the series, a somber fact lurks in the background. Despite its popularity, Chips faced a tragic loss during its production. Larry Wilcox, one of the main actors, was involved in a severe motorcycle accident during filming. The incident left him with serious injuries, leading to his absence from several episodes. This unfortunate event cast a shadow over the set and served as a reminder of the risks involved in portraying law enforcement on the small screen. 